St. Paul College is a place where we all belong. This community is for you, for me, and for everybody. And I promise you, you will not regret being a part of this community. It will always be yours. Hello, St. Paul College students. I just want to share my journey with you all and the main reason why I did finish college. I have three kids at home and the learning starts at home. So setting that foundation for them and letting them know that they can be anything and do anything is what I wanted for them. And I want to let you know that you can too. Like many of you, I came to St. Paul College with the intention of bettering the future for myself and for my family. While here, I realized that my family is all around me. Congratulations, grads. Through the struggle, through the toil, we remained resilient and we did it. St. Paul College is a place where you can start here and go anywhere. So I'm excited to see where we go next. They do too much. Keep in touch. Hello, I'm Kristen Rainey, Vice President of Academic Affairs and Senior Academic Officer at St. Paul College. I am so pleased to be part of the graduation ceremony for the class of 2021. Graduation ceremonies are an important time for all of us. It's a special moment in time where we stop to celebrate your achievements. But even more than that, it's a time for us to reflect on your hard work and honor everyone who has supported you, your parents, children, spouses, your friends and classmates, your teachers, and all of us here at St. Paul College. This year, we again celebrate your accomplishments with a virtual ceremony. It's especially important to acknowledge the extraordinary circumstances of the last year. A global pandemic and social unrest have caused us to rethink how we live, work, and go to school. This last year may have been a difficult one, but there are some important lessons worth noting. First, the spirit of the St. Paul College community is resilient. The relationships and connections between students, faculty, and staff will carry us through challenging times, whether we are together, online, or in person. Second, you have proven that education is always the answer. By focusing on your classes, even when it was difficult, you've shown that you have more than a degree. You have the commitment and strength to persevere under difficult conditions, and that you can focus on your future even when the present is challenging. These are skills that will serve you well in whatever you do next. And even though we can't be together in person, we have found a way to be together online because that's what community is all about. People, relationships. We are all connected and we all stand stronger when we stand together. And now we stand together to celebrate you. Congratulations, graduates. Welcome to St. Paul College's 2021 virtual graduation ceremony. I know this is an unusual conclusion to a long and very unusual school year, but we are so very proud of all of our graduates today. To those graduates, you are the reason we are here today. Congratulations on achieving your goals and graduating. You've juggled families, jobs, illness, financial hardships, and more to beat the odds. Despite the challenges you face this year and throughout your education, your faith in yourselves, your determination to succeed, and your motivation to learn have guided you to this achievement. While I would rather be celebrating with you in person, no one can take this moment from you. The faculty, staff, and administrators commemorate this day with you and honor what you have accomplished. We remain thankful you chose to be part of our community. For many students, a graduation ceremony isn't just for you, but for the family and friends that helped you along the way. I hope that you can watch this together. To those brothers and sisters, moms and dads, kids and friends of our graduates, I know the vital role you play in helping these graduates succeed. Your support has helped get them to this moment. Thank you. The accomplishment we celebrate today isn't a ceremony, but the completion of your hard work. Vincent Van Gogh said, if you hear a voice within you say, you cannot paint, then by all means paint, and that voice will be silenced. My hope for you today is that whenever you hear that voice saying, you can't do it, you remember today and say to that voice, yes, I can. Congratulations, class of 2021. I first want to start off by thanking God who has given me the ability and strength to be standing here today. Nelson Mandela once said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. 
Hello, dear class of 2021, faculty, staff, and family. I'm so honored to be speaking on behalf of St. Paul College's amazing class of 2021. We have all endured and persevered through hard times this semester. Not only were we expected to stay on track in the midst of this pandemic, but we were also working towards a huge milestone and a huge goal of getting our degrees and certifications in such hard times. I know it's been hard, but here we all are watching our commencement ceremonies on our devices tonight. We made it. I applaud you all for the hard work, sleepless nights, dedication, and perseverance you've shown. And I know that the amazing faculty and staff are applauding each and every single one of us too. Last week, while filling out a scholarship application, I was asked, what is the value of an education and what does it mean to you? Listen, like many of you, I'm also a huge procrastinator, so of course I typed up something last minute and turned it in. But that one question never left my mind. I dwelt on that question for the rest of the week and was able to come up with an answer as to why education is valuable to me. Education to me means power. It is the power to change our lives and communities to be better and fairer. I was born and raised in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. My biological parents' consistent teaching of the importance and value of my culture, education, and surrounding has shaped my life significantly. Their perseverance to give me a better education is what gives me the strength to become better for myself as well as for my community. I immigrated in 2016 and made my permanent move to Minnesota, where I was welcomed by a big, beautiful family. It was hard to leave my immediate family behind to, and try to fit into this foreign environment that became my new home. I was adopted by my aunt who already resided here. My aunt tries her absolute best to give me the same support as my parents despite any hardships we might face as a family. Because of her support and my strong desire to use education as a tool of change, I was able to reflect on my challenges as I not only survived but thrived in this new land that I now call home. Today, I'm able to gain a college education as a high schooler, help students through my tutoring job here at St. Paul College, and serve my community. Education helps me to give back to my community, learn new things, find good jobs, and lead a respectable life in the future. I believe that we all have our unique ways and paths that brought us here today, but we all share a common goal of trying to become better. Whether that be educational or career-wise, we all are here because we want to make something better for ourselves. St. Paul College has allowed me to use my personal background and experience to contribute to the diverse community by breaking stereotypes and creating ways to express my own culture as well as learn from other scholars. Because of the struggles I've seen in my community here and back home, I want to obtain a college degree and a career in the medical field in order to serve the global community regardless of background. And that is why education is important to me. Thank you to all my family, friends, and community members who helped me make my education journey possible. I would also love to thank my grandfather, Anamut Kande, who is the main reason for my focus in school, for my, for my passion to give to others, and most importantly, for my ability to be standing here today. It's been nearly five years since he brought my sister and me to the US, which has provided us with better opportunities ever since. My grandfather passed away a few months back, but I know I'll hold on to his lessons for many years to come. Thank you for all you've done for me, Ayiya. I wish you all the best, class of 2021. We did it.
by virtue of the authority granted to me by the Minnesota State Board of Trustees, I hereby award each of you the degree for which you have applied and all the rights and privileges accorded by that degree. Hello, graduates, families, and friends. It is an honor to be speaking to you today. I am Tom McCarthy, 1986 graduate of St. Paul College in Plumbing, and I have the honor of welcoming you into the alumni family. This may not be how you envision graduation to look, but still remember today and all that you've accomplished to get there. Remember your drive, your passion, your inspiration for starting on this journey. These will serve you well in the future. We may all have our own stories that led us to today, but there is one thing that ties us together, and that is our commitment to further our dreams, our commitment to learning, to aspiring to be better. You are prepared to start your next chapter, and we couldn't be prouder of you. So on behalf of all alumni, congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you.